Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your oracle, weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is a reading for the next seven days from the time that you hear this, right? The week out, the week ahead. It is for Aquarius sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Aquarius affects your natal chart, you can take these energies and you can plug it into that aspect of your life. All right, let's get right into the reading. We're going to do the full oracle card spread here. I will eventually turn the camera around to review the entire spread with you, and then we'll go over to the extended reading where there's a full tarot card spread to articulate the reading and a romance reading. Also, the uh, weekend romance for next weekend is up too. So that focuses on weekends per uh, the, the energies for each zodiac sign in romance for this coming weekend. So here we go, Aquarius. This is Aquarius. For those of you who have not subscribed to the channel, please do. Join the journey. This is Born Without Boundaries. Also, click that bell so that you know when I go live and when I upload all the content. So. Energy for Aquarius for the week ahead. Aquarius energy for the week ahead. Aquarius energy for the week ahead. Aquarius energy for the week ahead. This is energy for uh, the zodiac sign of Aquarius for the coming week, for the next seven days. What is the energy for Aquarius coming? Tend to the small things. Ooh, there could be something that has been growing for quite some time. This is an energy of when well, you see one mouse, there's 500 in the walls. So it's it's it energy um, that tells me this is something that has been building. And now it may have started out small, but it's gotten very big. And, and if you look and tend to the small things that it seems like Maybe you didn't tend to the small things. That's what it was. It's like you let something go. Or maybe it's just that something's been building little by little over time. Uh, this could be a project. This could be a relationship. This could be just an energy with the ether. Whatever it is, it's been building for quite some time. And what is on the surface is just the tip of, an ice, of the iceberg. You don't... You... Um, can feel maybe what's beneath the surface. You could feel what's coming or you could feel the gravity that of what is, is really, but you can't really prove it yet. It's still more something that you're going to have to sense um, with your sixth sense almost. There, yeah, yeah. Something has been growing, Capricorn. Spirit has a plan. Okay. Well, just sit back down. Oh, I said Capricorn, didn't I? I apologize. Uh, definitely, this is for Aquarius. Capricorn's video has been done. Um, maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn, but I don't think so. You could be dealing with another Aquarius. This is somebody who has a perspective, and an, an, not an overlord point of view, um, a philosophical point of view. Somebody who is very much, maybe they are an actual Buddhist, but they're very spiritual and they're very religious if this is a person. If not... This is an energy of this is meant to be. This is something that you have been overseeing for quite some time. That's why it goes along with it. You have been overseeing this for quite some time. So this has been something that you have been working on, Aquarius, that has been growing over time. So there's a little bit of an energy of excitement and anticipation in wanting to sort of unveil this or really almost... Maybe you've been afraid to make this official, to, to come out and say, yeah, that's, that's, that's mine, that that's, project is mine, or this is what I've been working on. Or, you, you just haven't really debuted what's going on yet, though you have had a conscious effort in, in it. You've been, you've been dealing in this. You, this, this is partially you. This is, this is not an energy that is you know, removed from you and just happening around you, though I think it could also be happening to you, like somebody has had their eye on you or has been recognizing you and or there's you just starting work on something that is going to be growing steadily over the next over the next couple of days. There is an energy of that slow build and finally something coming out, something that has been thought about in advance, something that has been um, mold over, considered deeply, um, and sort of decided on as great as something to be excited about. That slow, steady burn. If you're on a platform that allows for commercials, I'm going to slip one in here and I'll be back in about 30 seconds. I appreciate your patience. Thank you so much for your patience, Aquarius. Those, um, 
those commercials actually support the channel. So thank you for supporting the channel just by being patient. I'm really grateful for that. Um, yeah, I'm going to expand on this reading because this is very, it's very abstract. It's, this it has a warm glow to it. So there's a stability to both of this. There is a sort of philosophical slant to this energy. So it's something maybe not creative, but something that's important or, or philanthropic. But overall, there's this energy of um, something being grounded, something being comfortable, something, maybe this is something that you, you like, I, I feel like there's a little bit of aloofness here. Like there's something that you haven't wanted to really celebrate outwardly about yet. You've sort of been holding off that energy for whatever reason you've been holding off. Let's, let's see. Sweet results await. So you're going to get what you want. That So whatever you're thinking about when I'm talking about this Aquarius, you're going to get what you want. This is an outcome that you have been hoping for, but you haven't really wanted to put your finger in. Maybe you felt like it would be a little too sticky. And maybe it is, but you can lick that sweetness off because it's some good, yummy, sticky, if you know what I mean. But <laughs> this is happiness. This is something that you've worked hard on once again, reaffirming my guess that this is something that you have been working on that's been growing steadily because bees work hard for their honey they work hard for their honey oh oh so hard for their honey they do <laughs> they they don't they build the hives they work together they're working day in and day out so yes this is sweetness and yes this is abundance and yes this is magic and manifestation because this is the number seven honey but it's it's taken time but oh my god i just got this creation happened in seven days so this is you could be building your whole new self you you could be building a whole new sense of self you could be building this is the start of something beautiful kind of thing. This is, that's what I feel. That's what I might name this. This is the start of something beautiful. Trust and divine detours. This is something that you never expected to go as far as it did. Um, something that you always sort of kept yourself half in and half out of. It was sort of like an agnostic perspective where you were coming from. Oh, you know, maybe I'm into it. Maybe I'm not. You were trying to play very ambiguous because you didn't want to fully commit to being a part of this yet. It's not that you were ashamed. It's that, that but this is seven two. Ooh, ooh, there is destiny afoot, Aquarius. This is hot, hot, hot energy. It's not even hot. It's like magical. This is seven and seven because six plus one equals seven and then you have sweet results. You know, you may never have seen this coming. This may have been come, sort of come out of the blue, something that you never would have even imagined in a, a thousand years. <coughs> But hey, you went with the flow and it paid off. You kept working and you kept working hard at it, but you also, there's also this sense of keeping it under wraps. And now, bam, spotlight is, hello. This is like somebody shown that spotlight on you or you're about to shine that spotlight coming out of the dark. It's like, pull over, we see you, floodlight hitting right on it. Maybe somebody's discovering you this week. Like there's a sense Aquarius that somebody may be putting a spotlight on you, like coming out and, and discovering you or putting a spotlight on you. You Aquarius could be stepping into the public arena. Uh, freedom is yours. Oh, so I think this is you running away with things like just taking off. This is your life actually getting out of the gates and, and, and being liberated, maybe being liberated from having to feel like you were hiding or you, you were holding back. I said this from the beginning, Aquarius, you were keeping back. You didn't want to share this with people. You were keeping it a secret, not to be like manipulative and coy, but just, just, just to be certain. You didn't want to reveal this big news until you were absolutely certain everything was signed by the ex, everything was official, but it's official now. Now, whatever is official for you, I don't know. Could it have been a television contract? Could it have been a book contract? Could it have been, um, could it be a relationship? Cause you, you didn't, you wanted to keep this on the low. You know, nobody needed to know right now until you were absolutely certain that you had a commitment. Okay, Aquarius, I see how you rolling. I see it. See the big picture. Yeah, you've been looking at this for a long time. And I think somebody has been seeing you for a long time. This is also this gentle, grounded energy of having that higher perspective of seeing things 
from that higher perspective, but also being grounded. Do you see both koala and giraffe? Giraffe, because of its height and its long legs and long neck, it's grounded while it has that, that perspective of that long-term perspective. And then this is koala energy where he holds onto a tree. So he's looking at things from the canopy, but he's also very firmly grasping that tree. So both of these energies have a higher perspective, but they're extremely grounded. They're also extremely gentle energies. They're soft, they're quiet. You know, they're beautiful in their regality, but they're not like boisterous. They're very noticeable though, I have to say. Mm, I really like this is this tall, beautiful energy, just elegant energy. Mm, I love it. And then bring a gentle touch. This is the only card in reverse. So this is, would be flipped upside down, a uh, shake up. Something wasn't so gentle. Something was rough. Something was just like steamrolled you essentially so maybe just maybe you've kept this under wraps for a very long time Aquarius but at the end of today or at the end of this seven day period you can't keep it under wraps anymore and sort of just the media shoots your door down and you can't you can't keep it under wraps this is not going to be a gentle energy this is a whirlwind energy I don't think it's negative that this is a bad, that this isn't a bad, not gentle energy, but this is definitely the energy of taking you by storm, sweeping you off your feet. Trust it, go with it, go with the flow. And I think that you have somehow, sometimes I think you've known this for a while. You felt the wave coming and you've been preparing yourself for it so that it doesn't complete when you get, so when you get swept off your feet, you don't lose yourself. Oh, when you get, you have been preparing for this for a long time. And that's why you've been keeping it slow and keeping it steady and keeping it under wraps. So that when you get swept off your feet, you don't lose yourself. You still stay grounded even though you're lifted or, or exalted. Ooh. Uh, let me turn the camera around. Hold on. All right, here we go. Let's review. This is your grounding energy. <laughs> As for grounding energy, this is your this is your world getting completely reconstructed. Flipped upside down. This is not a gentle touch. This is a full on earthquake. But because all of this other stuff is so good, I almost feel like it was maybe a volcano erupting and everything just coming out that was like building from underneath for quite some time. But you've had a say in this. You see, this is that energy of you driving this somehow, you contributing to this, and you also deciding to keep it under wraps, but no more. You're announcing something to the world, Aquarius. See, with this big old voice, or somebody is announcing you, somebody is heralding you or exposing you, exposing what you are, like, like exposing, it sounds like, like it's bad. No, they're, they're seeing you. They're putting you in their spotlight. And it's like, finally, you're allowed to talk about it and say something about it. Uh, in some ways, this is, a, this is the weirdest energy here. I feel like there's something to say about it, but I can't put my finger on what I want to say about it. But there is definitely this sense of a loving energy, almost being guarded and protected from afar. This gentle spirit, this beautiful energy, this unconditional love. I'm going to go a little bit further into that over on the other side. I'm going to extend this reading out, Aquarius. Let's see where this big old beautiful explosion, a honey explosion, is happening. Um, and then I'll also do your romance reading too. So I'll see you over there. <laughs> 